We will go over a very basic example of creating a program in C and compiling and executing it and we'll typically always start programming languages and scripting languages. The first program that you'll want to write is usually a hello world program which will do nothing more than print the words hello world. So just really quickly C is going to be a relatively low level programming language uh, that's going to give you access to some basic system structures like uh, characters, numbers, and <clears throat> addresses in memory. So C has the fundamental flow control functionality uh, with supports for both functions and variables just like any other scripting or programming language is going to have. Um, it's going to include some standard libraries for interacting with the operating system and they're typically going to be I.O. in nature for inputting and outputting from memory or files. So let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is open up a terminal. Control Shift T is what I typically use to open this up and use the ls function or yeah, ls command to see our directory structure. Our working directory is here so I'll use a test directory that I've created here. So let's go ahead and make a new directory. Make directory C test. So that will create the directory and we will change directory to the directory we just created. And once we're in that directory we'll go ahead and open up a text editor to write our program. I typically use gedit. It's one that ships with most versions of Ubuntu if you install the uh, GUI version of the operating system. So you just start it up with gedit and that will open up. And now we're ready to get started with our Hello World program. The first thing that we'll want to do in our C program is include any libraries that we'll want to use. And for the very basic function of just printing, we'll want to include the standard I.O. library. So basically, when you want to include a library, you'll just put the include directive with a pound include and the library name header file in brackets which we'll touch more on later and whenever you compile and run a C program it's going to look for a main function in your program and execute the code in that main function so your main function will wanna return an integer value so whenever you create a function in C the first thing you wanna tell it is the return type so we'll wanna return an integer and integer is represented with int in C so we, here is how we define our main function uh, and in brackets we can include parameters which we'll touch on later that can be used for arguments to our program. And we'll want to return uh, a value, we'll want to return an integer value. Now we'll just return zero which means a uh, status of OK. If we had a program that we wanted to output the status of the program we could return a number of different values to indicate different statuses. So whenever we want to print to the screen, we'll call the printf function with the words hello world, followed by a new line, and we'll want to close all of our statements uh, with a semicolon. So this will print the words hello world to the screen with a new line. And we'll want to save our program, and you'll want to save your program with a .c extension. So we'll just name this file hello.c press the save and then it's saved and then in gedit we'll get some syntax highlighting now that we've saved it with the C extension and it knows that it's a C program. So next we'll want to go back to our terminal window and click on the terminal window you were just on and hit control shift T again and that'll open up another terminal window in another tab in the same directory and we can see our file that we just created there with our program and we can put the output of it. So now we're ready to compile our program and we'll use the GNU compiler in C. So we'll want to do gcc hello.c hit enter and our program is now compiled and if you just use the basic parameters with no flags with the GCC GNU compiler it will create a program called a.out which is our program. So to run it, hit period forward slash a dot out 
and we have our hello world program if you wanted to name your program something other than ADAT out to run it you can use the dash o flag with the GNU compiler and I'll briefly show you how to do that so we could do GCC dash o and if we wanted to name it hello hello dot c it will compile it and name our program hello so if we want to run it we can just use the dot hello command and it'll execute it now if you want to download the source code for this to copy and paste I'll put a link in the description thanks